Are there a few religious sites in particular that you've especially come to personally love Ooh. or you grow attached to? I mean, there's so many. I, I'm sure Wait, you got I know. <laughs> we do have about four hours, correct? Uh, you know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, honestly, we could keep this going. I wouldn't mind. Like, this is fantastic. I, I, you know, your your personality and attitude to this is amazing. We we could make a ten. We could have a ten part interview. Uh, you know, Over time, right yeah. Over time, I wouldn't mind. <laughs> well, in answer to that question, I have to say that I have two favorite cities in the world, Jerusalem and Rome. Mm. And those are my two favorite cities for several reasons. If I had to live six months somewhere, I would probably live in Rome because of the glory of Christendom. Over 800 churches in the city of Rome alone. The history of the saints and the martyrs there is unprecedented. The other fam favorite city is Jerusalem. And that's because everywhere you go, it's a holy site. This is where Jesus was. This is where Mary did this. This is where Paul was. This is where Peter Israel, the Jerusalem is just dumbfounding. It is totally life transforming. I make a distinction, William, between holy, holy sites and sacred sites. Only in Israel do you go to holy sites. Holy because God sanctified them by his very footprints. That's why my video series is called Footprints of God. Only in Israel do you have places that are holy sites because Jesus was here. Even there's one, this is kind of fun. I'll ask a, a little riddle here. Where's the only place where the Trinity walked on the earth with all six feet? Where? Let people think for a moment. Okay, it's in Genesis chapter 18 where the three visitors came to visit Abraham. Ah, uh, yes. It's called Hebron. And the fathers of the church are very interesting. I just finished a 500 page commentary on Genesis. It's going to be out probably the later this year, the first of next year by Ignatius Press. 500 pages on Genesis. Ah. I hope that when people read it, they're going to, Catholics are going to fall in love with the Bible because it's very fun to read. Not just a boring commentary, it's a fun commentary. It's like a novel. And in that story, I, I relate how the fathers of the church say that in these three travelers who come to visit Abraham, that we see the mystery of the Trinity. Mm. And two of them went down to Sodom, and it said one left, but two went down to Sodom. And the fathers say that was the Holy Spirit in Jesus, because the father went back into heaven. And when the fire came down on Sodom and Gomorrah because of their immorality in sodomy, it says that Yahweh from heaven rained down, no, Yahweh on earth called down fire from Yahweh in heaven. Hmm. It's the Trinity. So anyway, this is what my point is, is that only in the Holy Land do you have the footprints of God himself, which walked on the face and made it holy. Rome is sacred. Guadalupe is sacred, but it's right. not holy in the sense that Israel is. So I have to say that my favorite places in the whole world are in Israel. Capernaum, where Jesus did 75% of his miracles. The Via Della Rosa, where we carry our cross. Come to the top of Calvary. And I tell people, when you reach under the altar and touch that, that's the rock where the cross was. If you had to touch that 2,000 years ago, your hand would come up sticky with his blood. Realize where you are. Realize what happened here. And that tomb that we're going in next... When you go home, you'll be able to say, I was in there, and I can affirm that it's empty. There's no body in there. Israel is, is marvelous. But then I have to say that I love taking groups to Mexico to go to Guadalupe, where yeah. Mary appeared, and Lourdes and Fatima, and the life of St. Paul. Because if it weren't for St. Paul, I don't know that you and I would be here. He oh. picked the gospel to the world, to the oh, yeah. Oh, but there's yeah. all of those. That's, those are my favorite places. But I could talk about any one of them for an hour. <laughs>